Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. How are you guys today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I would like to do a spread today. Uh, Prince, A Prince uh, Andrew is uh, open to remarrying uh, Fergie. We can figure out why, right? Because if he marries her, she does not have to testify against him. What a nice little sneaky little trick that is. So let's get some cards on it. Let's find out what is going to actually happen with these two. Will they actually get married, spirit guides and angels? Please be clear. Will these two actually walk down the aisle together? What is going to unfold? We've got here judgment. So they are making a judgment. It's a rebirth. Oof. A rebirth of the two of them. Uh -oh. Okay, keep pulling. We got here uh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh boy. So yeah, it's a new beginning. A new beginning and uh, it's looking like it. Yeah. And then we have here the Five of Swords. So that is, you know, selfish care. Uh, it is also about, you know, defeat, taking a risk. So he knows he's facing defeat. He's got to take the risk and get married to her. And this is something with the, you know, with the judgment, basically um, a rebirth and awareness of the situation that he may not be doing so well with that. So he's going to grab onto her and have this new beginning with her. And we also have here the king, the knight of cups. Yep, he is going to come in and propose. Oh, yikes. Yes, he's going to propose. Just do it action. He's got a very strong belief that he needs her by his side to avoid uh, accountability. Absolutely. Avoid accountability. Wow. It couldn't be more clear. It could not be more clear here, you guys. Okay, under the surface, what do I have here? Four of cups in reverse. Uh, that is subconsciously, he knows that the stability is not there. Uh, and things are pretty cracked and broken, as you can see, and it's looking grim, very grim. And the center of the situation here with this, I have here, consciously, he is going to go for that two of cups, partnership. So yes, they are going to get married again. Yes, 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 because he really is afraid of that lack of stability uh, entering his life and having, having uh, not being able to probably be at home. Uh, he doesn't want to suffer from boredom and discontentment being locked up. <laughs> so let's find out how will it go with this um, situation with the two of them. How will it unfold? They seem to get it all, get along pretty well as divorcees. So how will they get along? How will they get along? How will they get along? We have here Knight of Wands. Wow, he's very much into this. <laughs> wow. So he is going to be very energetic. He's going to be very ambitious about doing this. So it's going to look like it's going to go pretty well for, for him. He really wants to do this because this is something he has to cut through. He's got to get through this. He, he literally needs to cut through this situation. As you can see, that's kind of going through the earth there. So this is something that's going to cut through the situation that he's put himself into. And it's also a new beginning. Uh, it's a new intellectual beginning. It's a new conflict. So this is a new conflict. It's not, well, not really new, new, but this is a way to approach the conflict, I guess you could say, and to be successful because he's got to cut through it. And having her by his side will cut through all that. Wow. He's playing dirty, you guys. He's playing dirty. Under the surface, it is a tower crashing moment, but he feels subconsciously that he will rebuild. Getting her on his side, they're going to rebuild because once the tower crashes, you rebuild from the ashes. The ashes, from the ashes, you rise up like the rising phoenix. Consciously, he's going to try and be strong. She is his source of strength, I feel, by looking at this. She's the gent gentle strength that he needs. He needs her. So it's looking like it's going to go pretty well. And it's, it, you know, this is a plan of theirs. This is clearly a plan of theirs. They're already friends. They already hit it off well. So this is really a plan. Uh, the next card deck thing I'd like to do it on, let's say, yeah, is uh, <laughs> Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Prince Charles is feeling sad for not seeing the babies. Not seeing the babies. So uh, he wants to see mainly Lilibet. Uh, 
but I'm sure he's very guarded. I don't see him ever letting his guard down whatsoever. I don't care what people say. He's going to always be guarded around Harry and Meghan. Uh, I don't think he'll ever want to look Meghan in the eyes, to be quite frank. But let's find out. How does he truly feel here? We got here the Queen of Wands. So he would like to have it happen with the Queen of Wands. Wand energies is making things happen. It's 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 being hasty. It's it's energetic. It's wanting it to happen fast with the Queen of Wands. We're looking at the nurturing energy of the of the Queen. We're looking at someone who's very confident, uh, progressive, and it is the Phoenix Rising card. So this is feminine energy, but we don't have to assign sexes to cards necessarily. So this is sort of a Phoenix Rising. If he could see Lilibet, be confident, progressive, nurturing energy, um, sort of keeping his eye on the prize kind of thing in a way. I think he thinks he can make it happen. He's going to really try and make it happen. So he is going to try and create the situation. Let's get some more on that. There we go. I've got here, yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, they're going to call him in. He's going to make sure he sees the child. He's going to make sure he sees her. He's going to make sure. Absolutely. And we have here Seven of Wands. So this is defiance and victory. He's going to fight him for it, and he's going to win. He's going to win. The next card, I have here Six of Wands. So far, he's not winning because uh, it's in reverse. Upright, this is the winning card, the celebration. So far, he's not winning, so he's going to have to be clever, which brings me to what's he going to do? What is he going to do to win? How is he going to beat him? How is he going to be defiant and victorious? How is, he, how is Charles going to be defiant and victorious? He is going to use these, the emperor in reverse. Ooh. Oh my. So this is the emperor. This is daddy dearest here uh, position. Uh, he is going to be relentless, basically. Very, very relentless. Uh, this is the dominator. He's going to demand it. You don't have a choice. You're bringing, you're going to introduce me to her. Uh, so let's, you know, so yeah, he's going to do it with domination. Domination. He's going to dominate the situation. So let's find out. How's that domination going to go? Domination is going to go with the hangman in reverse. He's going to be selfish. He's going to say, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to see that child now. And we have here the three of wands. He's going to create the situation. He's going to take the opportunity and he's going to take the situation. He's going to create it. He is definitely going to create the situation and he is going to two of wands in reverse. Two of wands, excuse me. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. I got to get to know this deck a little more. You can tell by the images here, but this is a crumbling situation. He's afraid the whole relationship's going to crumble anyways. Uh, there is no partnership. He doesn't expect them to have a partnership, getting back together necessarily. He just wants to see the child. So I don't see him thinking that there's going to be any building or climbing going on between them or any growth. Uh, there's just too many problems there. So it's just strictly to see the child possibly check with DNA and uh, do that, and which is going to be something they're going to want to block him on, but he's going to be that inflexible dominator to make it happen. So how are they going to respond to the inflexible dominator, the emperor in reverse? How are they going to respond to the inflexible dominator? They're going to be the ace of swords, so they may, they're going to listen. They're going to come in. Uh, but they're going to try and break through the situation themselves. They're going to probably try and take control in some respects with the sword here. It is going to be a bit of a conflict, new conflict, with the Queen of Wands. So she thinks she's the Queen of Wands. Who are you to tell me what to do? I'm the Queen of Wands here, not you. And she is the negative Queen of Wands too. She's not the glorious Queen of Wands with the growth. It's in reverse. So that's the, the, she's the one who's the dark energy version. And then we have here the seven of swords upright. So the way they're going to re react is with defiance and victory. So they're going to defy it. They're going to try and defy it and win against Charles. So they're going to fight him on it, on taking a look at Lilibet, because they know that's what he wants to do. So how do they feel about, do they think, are they worried about Lilibet's DNA? I'm going to ask that. Are they worried about Lilibet's DNA? Are they worried about Lilibet's DNA being tested? All they have to do is pull out a banky. 
a little binky, a little swab when they're in the other room. Let's just see a little bit for just a split second and we'll bring her right back. And all it takes is a little swab swab. So let's find out, are they afraid of the swab? Are they afraid of the mouth swab or a binky or something being taken? How do they feel about the DNA? How do they feel about the DNA? How do they feel about the DNA? How does Harry and Megan feel about that DNA? Can't be feeling good about it. Well, they know that they're not gonna get away from it. They're not gonna get away from it. They know that if they bring her, this is what's gonna happen. They're, they're in charge here, <laughs> they're in charge. This is Queen Elizabeth. This is Queen Elizabeth right here. She's in charge. They're not getting out of it. They're just not going to get out of it. And we got seven of wands. So defiance and victory yet again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They just want to fight, fight, fight. And six of wands in reverse. They're going to lose. They know they're going to lose. They know they're going to totally lose. There's no victory for them whatsoever. So they know. They know they got, they got to keep her out of the UK. They can't... They, They've got to fight it, even though I think this whole, um, uh, you know, being christened there uh, was just to get the, the photo opportunity. But they're going to be so defiant, defiant, they're going to block her from anyone taking her off to the side. Uh, so, yeah, this is crazy. And then we got eight of pentacles upright. So they're going to be moving on, seeking, moving on. It's an action to overcome. So they're going to try and move on from it. They are going to try and move on from it. Yeah, because they know they're, they they're going to lose. And they don't like losing. And they're, she's already lost enough. So they, they, can't, they can't risk the reputation here because they're, they're already broke. They're not succeeding at anything. Things are really getting dark. And then we also have here the King of Wands in the reverse position. So they're afraid of this. They know that they're going to go dark on them. They know that everything's going to turn dark against them. And it's not going to be a happy king. It's going to be that negative energy coming at them, uh, dark and gloomy. And they just don't want to see that. They don't want to face that. They don't want to face the, the consequences of, of their actions. And wow, another knight of swords in the dark position. So they know they're not reliable. They know that they, they are very fearful. They are very fearful in this position. In the upright, this guy's fearless. They are, they are terrified. They're absolutely terrified of this seven of wands trying to be defiant and victorious over them because they know they don't have a shot. They just know they really don't have a shot with the magician in the reverse position. So this is deception and lies. It's not, the, it's not clean magic making things happen and manifesting. It's doing it with the liar with, um, you know, being a complete liar and, and deception, total deception. So everything they've done has been totally deception with the, with the um, harmony of uh, wands and how they created the situation was completely deception. She was a, she's a complete deception and how she even came to be. And we have here the four of cups in the reverse position, which takes their stability, any sense of stability publicly and completely crushes them. As you can see, those glasses are crushed. So they know they're going to get totally, utterly crushed with the Seven of Cups. And there's no manifesting with this. Uh, they won't know what steps to take anymore. Uh, there's total discontentment here. So yeah, not looking in their favor. Under the surface, what do I have here? Justice. It's cause and effect and they know it. They know it's fair. They know it's the truth. They know it's the right path. And they know it is basically they caused this situation. They brought it on themselves. In the center of the situation, we have here five of swords. So they are very filled with conflicts and they are feeling defeated. This is de a defeat card. Uh, and, and this here, you know, they might be able to recover. But in this position, you definitely don't recover. You're left out in the cold. So this is still defeated. It's a defeat position. So they're, they're really defeated here. Um, and it doesn't look good. doesn't look good. They're, they really uh, are going to try and push back, but they know they're not going to win. So we all knew that, right? Didn't really need tarot for that because the crown always wins. They do, don't they? So let's get some more energy on here on the situation with the DNA, the DNA, and them wanting to swab her, them wanting to swab a little bit, wanting to swab her. Let's get some energy on wanting to swab her. There we go. 
Oh, that one wants out. We got here, love begins, but it came out in the reverse position. <laughs> yeah, they know it's not hers and it's going to drain them. It's, it's like a cup card. I would say this is an ace of cups, but it's in reverse. So there's no emotional beginning. Once they find out that she's not um, pure blood, uh, they're going to be unhappy. And firm foundation. They're going to still want to stay firm and solid despite the situation. So they don't want it to affect their situation. So probably they won't even say anything about it publicly. Let's get some more energy here. There we go. Attachment. They know that it's an ego situation. Their ego is involved. Everybody's ego is involved. It is a you know self-focused card with the cornucopia, abundance. They want their abundance. And we also know here that it's the male and female energy. It's Megan and Harry are both part of this situation. They both played a part. They both did. The male and female energy both played a part in trying to create a firm foundation. But they're going to realize that it's not a new emotional beginning. They really were trying to get a firm foundation for themselves. But really, they're not good parents. They're total self-attachment to themselves, self-focused for that cornucopia. And they both are involved. So they're really not good working royals. They're not, they're not Kate and William, okay? All they want is contracts. They just want contracts for that cornucopia and that, that attachment. They want people to feel attached to them, the public. And they think that they're magicians. They think they're magicians here. So that is what. They really think they can make whatever they want happen. That they, She thinks she's a creator. Like Because she worked in Hollywood, she thinks she can, she can literally... I think that's why she does everything she does, because she knows how everything's an illusion out there. You know, if you put the illusion out there enough, people will believe it. It's just such an illusion. Here we go. Let's get some more. And we've got here. And they think they're going to be successful. They always thought they could be successful at all this illusion, you know. So that's that whole Hollywood mind, in my opinion. Let's get some more. Here we go. And gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So she really does think she could be successful and show gratitude once she has snowballed everybody or since they snowballed everybody. They think they can be successful and then show gratitude to everybody after they have gaslighted the public and the world at large. But the bottom of the deck, subconsciously, they're dealing with loneliness and they know they're alone. And they've created that situation. In the center of the deck, wow, envy. They're very envious. They're very envious of the Cambridges. That's why this is all happening. We all know that. That is no secret on this channel, nor other channels. <laughs> there we go. And we have here, she is, they are parasites at this point in time. Parasites who are very fragmented. They don't know what they're doing. They're so broken up, going so many different places and nothing's working, everything's broken. So, and they're just completely fragmented. And let's get some wisdom, some wisdom on the situation. There we go. Aha, we've got here the Grove. <laughs> There's that bench, you guys. The grove, but it's in reverse. They're really not feeling abundant within the garden, the gro grove. A grove is what? G grove is, is where there's a lot of growth. You know, there's a lot of growth and beauty, and they're not seeing it. They're not seeing the growth and the beauty of what they're, they're capable of. They just prefer to do it in a lying fashion. They can't do it in an honest fashion. So their grove is not, not abundant. It's not feeling abundant whatsoever because it's in reverse. You know, the grove is, a grove is abundant and pleasure and uh, comfort. Uh, they don't have that. They truly don't have that. It's, it's an illusion. Back to the illusion, the Hollywood illusion, smoke and mirrors. So that's how I feel about that. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.